Hi, I'm Nate Adams, and this is the HVAC Basics chapter of my book, which is available for free download below. Now, I find as interesting as the concepts can be, most people want to see proof that I actually know what I'm talking about. So let's walk through one of our recent projects and the problem that we solved. And this is using the information in this chapter. So this is a fairly typical house. It's about 10 years old, and it has two really cold bedrooms. One is halfway over the front porch here, and the other one is over the garage. If you have a bonus room in your house that's over the garage, you know how hard it is to heat and cool those spaces. And in fact, this is just how hard it was. These are two monitors that we put into the house to measure just how big the difference was so that we could show whether or not we had succeeded on the other side. And we found that there was an 11 degree split between upstairs and downstairs on a fairly moderate winter day. It was a 35, 40 degree day. This was not a really cold day, but it was still a huge difference. And it's no wonder that their kids were complaining. So in diagnosing the house, we found that the HVAC system in this house was about three times as large as it needed to be. And the problem with that is there is no way to make the system run long enough to push heat or cool to those far rooms, which are the two bedrooms. And those two rooms also need more heat and cool to actually keep comfortable. So it's impossible to actually deliver comfort with their old HVAC system. So you can see this is the old Gigundus one, and this is the new much smaller one. This is actually still technically too large for the house but it was the most appropriate piece of equipment for what they had. This is what the new system looks like installed, and this is really a pretty system that's state-of-the-art, uh, and I'll show you just how it worked. So here's the monitors again, and this time you can see this blue line. This is a monitor that I put in my garage. So it actually gets hotter than it really does outside because it gets warmed up by the sun. But you can see when the peak of the day is. This is when a house is getting warmest. And what's interesting is, take a look at these two lines at the bottom here. Red is in the kitchen and purple is on the second floor. So this is cooling season now. And so the second floor is actually getting almost five degrees cooler than the first floor. And the warmer it is, the bigger the split that it's getting. This solved the comfort problems. There was some extra adjustment that needed to happen to do this, but this is very possible. If your house has a second floor that runs warmer than the first and more than two or three degrees, there's a problem and if you want to address it, you can using home performance and using the information in this chapter. Now, again, I need to repeat, there's no way that I could have delivered this result without replacing the HVAC in this client home. It just wouldn't happen. So if you want to learn more about what a truly good HVAC system is that can deliver amazing comfort in your house, Download this free chapter. It's right below. And if you enjoy this video, please like it. Share it to friends if you have a friend with a house that is uncomfortable. Uh, make comments. Tell me about what the temperature split is between your first and second floors or whatever problem you're having. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nate Adams.